Okay, you guys, now we're going to have Q&A for the week of January 17, 2013. There's not many questions, but we're going to get to it. But before we do, I just want to say that, you know, I do daily content. But pretty soon it will slow down because I am about to start college. That's right. I will be starting college on January 29th because I'm going to be studying and working on to become an electrician. So the videos will slow down a bit. Not much, but a bit. Because I'll be gone from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the afternoon. So, yeah. But my career will be taken off, so yay. Alright, so we're going to begin with 22 Tiger Dude. He asks, <clears throat> I have two questions for the week, dude. How many videos do you watch? Like, is there YouTubers, do you, a YouTuber's video you watch every once in a while, but not all the time? Okay, here's the thing. I'm subscribed to almost 700 subscribers, right? I'm at my girlfriend's house, so most of my time is divided to her. When I come on YouTube, I probably watch four to five videos max a day. Not all the time, not every day, but a day or so. Okay? I don't watch everybody right now because I'm at my her house, so I'm devoting most of my time to her. Then when I upload a video, usually I'll, I'll go and respond to the comments right away. When I'm over here, I'll respond to the comments the next day. I'll let the video rack up his views, rack up the comments, and then the next day I'll answer the comments. But how many do I watch a week when I'm over here? I probably watch like five to six different people. When I'm at home, I try and squeeze as much people in as possible because that's when I have the most time. I don't always have time when I'm over here, so... That's how I try and divide. I try to do the best I can when I'm over here, but I can't get to everybody because I'm over here. You no, know, when I'm at home, it's a different story. I'm on my time again, you know? So, yeah. Number two, he asks, Are you excited about the third annual You Reviewers Awards? A little bit, okay? I do like the awards, but I wish I was. I wish I hope I get to present pretty soon because I really do want to present one of these awards, and they all sounds pretty good. Maybe next year. I don't know. Um, I mean, I like how they how they they give us a chance to tell tell people which movies are good enough. But it's all about. What you think in particular? Particular? I'm not really iffy about it. I'm more excited for the Academy Awards than anything, because that's what I mainly watch. I watch the U Reviewers Awards in passing. Okay, I, I don't support everybody's channels that way. Um, there's a lot of people I'm just not a fan of when it comes to the U Reviewers Awards. But yeah, it's just that. Okay, um, Joker7523 asks me, Who should direct the next Jurassic Park due to come out next year? And what do you think of the mutant dinosaur idea? I think Spielberg should direct Jurassic Park for next year. Um, the mutant dinosaur idea, I saw that on Raw P's video. I didn't like that idea. I didn't like it at all. Just have regular dinosaurs in there tearing people to shreds. And since it's the fourth film, get Jeff Goldblum. Get Sam Neill. Get uh, uh, that old guy with the glasses um, back for this one. Get Laura Dern. Get the original cast from the first and second film. That even means Vince Vaughn and Jeff Goldblum's daughter. And... Uh, uh, what's her name? Julianne Moore. Get them all back for this one. Make this the biggest reunion possible. Okay, not the cast of JP3. Do not get Taylor Leone and William H. Macy. Ugh. But the first two casts are good enough. <clears throat> but that mutant dinosaur idea, yeah. 
but Steven Spielberg should direct this one. That should be interesting. He also asks, <clears throat> number two, would you like to see the under see Undertaker or Brock Lesnar win the Royal Rumble and have the other win the World Heavyweight Championship at Elimination Chamber, setting up a rematch inside Hell in a Cell for the title at WrestleMania? I would rather see um, Brock Lesnar go inside the Royal Rumble and do that because, you know, automatically Undertaker is not going to retire for like another probably two, three years maybe. And you know WrestleMania is his thing, so he doesn't even need to be in the Royal Rumble or Elimination Chamber come WrestleMania. He doesn't even have to show up. He can just appear for WrestleMania, and that's it. One time a year appearance by Undertaker, that is good enough, because Undertaker has deserved that much respect to be off once a year. And plus, he probably was on the 20th anniversary of Raw. I don't know, I didn't see that yet. Um, I may have to YouTube that one. But... Brock Lesnar should do that and then do all that stuff to the elim Elimination Chamber and then go up to the WrestleMania to face Undertaker again because the last time he fought Undertaker, Undertaker had a broken hand and Brock Lesnar fucking bashed a steel chair into his broken hand and it was a real broken hand and Undertaker fucking fought him with that and that's how he still earned my respect to this day so yeah a rematch between Taker and Lesnar not bad Especially with his little MMA style, or I'm sorry, MMA style. Fuck that shit. I hate the MMA. Okay, number three. He says, "What do you believe was the worst movie? Was what was the worst year for movies? The worst year for movies?" Worst year for movies? Hmm. Worst year for movies. Maybe 2003? That was the year of movies all year long. From February to the summer, they had movies. Uh, Daredevil worked, but since it was the producer's cut, it kind of failed at the box office a slight tad. It made its money back, but it didn't make enough to make a sequel. The, the original Hawk that came out was boring as all hell, and it failed at the box office. Um, it was a lot more that year, but... I do believe it was um, 2003 at the max. Um, you okay? Some happened between the comments, my friend, because you went from number three to number five. <laughs> but I'm gonna answer it as number four. So number four. What's your favorite female hero and villain from both DC and Marvel? My favorite hero from DC is Wonder Woman. Is there a villain from DC? <laughs> a female villain from DC? Oh, you know what? I'm going to pick Livewire because I love Livewire. She's funny. The Superman's villain, Livewire. Uh, Marvel side. I'm gonna have to go with Rogue from the X Men, the animated Rogue, the one with that southern accent. She was badass. And the villain hero? I mean, villain from Marvel? Hmm. Probably Mystique, cause she was she was an interesting character. <laughs> um, let's see what else we got. I have 
three more questions. This one's from Natarel Vlog. How did you find out about the YMC? About the YouTube movie community? I didn't really find out about it. I just knew about YouTube and I just wanted to go on there to see what it was all about and typed in like movie reviews and stuff like that. That's when I came across Storm's Inc. channel. That's when he was reviewing movies at the time. He still does, but you know, he's kind of gotten full of himself. He was the reason why I kind of started doing videos after he became a partner, but then he eventually lost his YouTube partnership. I don't know what happened when he did that, but he eventually lost his partnership. How you lose a partnership? I don't know. <laughs> uh, that was basically my introduction to the YMC. I already knew about the Blu-ray community. I was always watching Blu-ray updates and Blu-ray collections. That's how I started. That's how I came across doing Blu-ray updates. I've always been a fan of uh, the video games. That's how I started doing the video game ones. Favorite still book. My favorite still book will probably have to be my Ghostbusters still book that I got from Robin176. I haven't got it yet. It's at the house, but I'm not home to pick it up to even do the unboxing. Maybe I'll have it by this weekend. I gotta go back there anyway to pick up some stuff for to take back with me for my um, second visit to my college next week. Um, favorite Digibook? Damn. Favorite Digibook? Even though I love the E.T. Digibook, I gotta go with the Dark Knight Rises Digibook just a little bit more. I love that lenticular um, cover on it. I, I just do. It's just awesome. But you know what? If I have to pick a second still book, I'm gonna have to pick the Looper still book. Which I, I just I didn't receive it yet, but I, I learned that it was um, going to be sent off to me. So thank you to that YouTuber. I forgot his name right now because I'm not. I don't have that on here right now to even look at who sent me it. But I know who's coming from, and he will get his in return as well. Which do you like more, the Princess and the Frog or Tango? Never seen the Princess and the Frog. I don't really care about seeing it. I don't really care about black princesses. To tell you the truth, I'm not really into like. Okay, I'm just going to level with you. I'm not really into black people all that much. Only certain ones that carry themselves with respect and decency. Like Trey Passer. Like TP20. Okay? People like that. I don't like ghetto black people. And I don't like ghetto names. So I don't like crap like Tiana. That's her name in the film. I, uh, uh, I'm cool. Tangled, I did see. I do have. I love Tangled. I love the story what they did with Rapunzel. That was pretty good. Plus, y'all love Zachary Zachary Quinto. Zachary Levi. I love Chuck. He's funny. He's a great guy. So, thank you, Nana Real Log, for those questions. Marco Rodriguez, if you can make up your own dream card, WrestleMania dream card, which would you be? Would it be? S.U. Let me see. Okay. For the main event, it's got to be Undertaker and Kane. Hell in the Cell Inferno match. I said that in my other video. Uh, match number four. Um, I know WWE only has like four or five matches, while TNA has like eight. Four. Brock Lesnar versus. Maybe Triple H. Three. CM Punk versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. It has to happen at some point. Two. The return of Chris Jericho versus... Versus right back. Match number one. John Cena versus 
Oh, John Cena versus Goldberg. Oh, fuck yes. Goldberg will whoop that ass in the kingdom come. <laughs> Thank you for that question, Marco. We got Pony Ride. And he asked me, um, did you ever collect toys like action figures and die cast cars? I never, I don't know what a die cast is. I never heard of that before. Um, toys. I collect a lot of the Burger King and McDonald's toys, especially when Burger King had the Dragon Ball Z um, toys. Oh, I went out of my way to collect all those toys, and I did. But as I got older, I gave them to um, Goodwill. So, yeah, I had, I was mainly into video games when I was younger. So I didn't really have, I had a lot of toys. I had a toy box about the size of a window. But, but uh, yeah, as I got older and then we moved, I got rid of most of them. And then now I don't really have none of them. So, um, yeah. So, but die-cast car cars? Uh... I'm about to look up diecast cars. I never heard of that. That sounds interesting to me. But, hmm. But yeah, that's the questions for today. So, thank you guys for asking me the questions. Please, if you have more questions, leave them down below. And I will get back to them next Thursday. You guys have yourself a good, good Thursday night. I will see y'all tomorrow for whatever video I have next. It will probably be my Disney unboxings. So, later.